to jump on and I've been trying to figure out what um, video to do this week and there's a lot of things going on obviously as we all know. Um, before I even jump in, I don't even have a, none of my videos are ever scripted so <laughs> I'm just going off the top of my head but before I jump into the topic of my video, I just want to say thank you to these following um, influencers on YouTube, social, um, Instagram and Twitter, Jackie Ina. Um, Natural 85, um, As Told by Kenya, um, Josie, um, I think her name is Henrietta, I'm so sorry, she's amazing. Um, I am Elio, um, all these beautiful, powerful black women talking about um, the issues of our world. <laughs> States, but systemic racism is across the globe. It's a global issue and just being able to sit and hear all the news from different outlets and especially social media and Twitter and just finally having us being heard is amazing. Um, there's so many great um, influencers please put more influences down um, below I'm also going to put um, somewhere in my video um, a list of different um, organizations that you can give um, to I have joined the NAACP chapter in my city I am um, been protest protesting I've been being very vocal and transparent on my shoulder social media because I realized I was part of the problem I was feeding into this respectability politics that I want to let go. Um, I'm trying to think of other influencers wisely in my mind. Patricia Bright, um, Samantha Maria, they're from the UK. Grace Victoria, she's an absolute diva. I love, she's one of my favorite um, UK YouTubers. Um, she is extremely passionate and an advocate of individuals that are marginalized um, also. A black woman. Um, I'm trying to think of more people. I, mean, I know I'm forgetting people and I, I hate that. And, I, and once I'm done with this video, I'll go ahead and put all their handles down it. And whoever I didn't mention, there's so many beautiful black women out there speaking out and speaking up. But yeah, anyway, like I'm saying, I'm doing, I'm trying to do my part because I want, I just feel that people are finally listening and people are finally collaborating and people are fi finally getting heard and being seen and that's the frustrating part is not being seen because you know what protest rioting um, demonstrations this is nothing new and it's actually really heartbreaking that even now 2020 we're the same issue it's like what the hell is wrong with us why can't we just accept people for who they are without any judgment stereotypes but I think why this is resonating and this again is just my um, opinion being a racist is not using the n-word being a racist is not just um, let me rewind being a racist is not only using the n-word obviously you say the new n-word you are a fucking racist I um, mean one plus one equals two. But systematic racism is hitting a nerve because that's the hit and underlining current of a smile on your face, but the anger and the hatred behind that smile, how you really feel about that person, that judgment. Um, I know that a lot of things that they have labels, Becky and Karen, of 
the white privilege you have in regards to weaponizing the police or even the police being so ingrained on what they've been taught, how they feel they should handle aggressively people of color, that even when they're recorded and they know they're getting recorded, they know at now, now they're getting recorded, is so ingrained in their training, they still do it. It's, but I feel like, you know, hopefully, finally, we're going to make a change and um, it's not going to just be rhetoric. And I just love what Jackie Ina has been doing. She, she has no fucks. I'm sorry. She is going to call you to the carpet and she's going to make you sew receipts. The um, put up and shut up campaign. I mean, she reached out to makeup brands, fashion brands that culture appropriate our culture, our black culture into our, their fashion and she called them out like the fashion novas the pretty little thing she called them out and said you need to do better and um her passion and her motivation motivated me because i was looking in my past in regards to i mean everybody has a story and i think that kind of helps the narrative to help people understand this cause even better everybody has a story right and or stories <laughs> but I was thinking about you know what I want to put Jackie Ines initiative that she's focusing on the um, the fashion and the beauty world in this hashtag put up or shut up asking these companies show us the numbers how many people of color do you have in high management level not supervisors not managers but vp ceos vice presidents directors how many put up or shut up and i'm like that should also translate to corporate america and if i had for my past videos my this um, unemployment videos and, and also my disabled and being employed videos you can see that undercurrent of I'm trying to be kind and not put anybody on the carpet but you know what this is the time to let go of those respectability politics this is the time because people are listening so I'm also going to be pushing that put up shut up in corporate America put up or shut up what are you doing there are so many different companies like Apple uh, Michael Jordan and the Jordan Company, a hundred million dollars that they're donating to the cause. All these different organizations, big organizations, knowing that it's time to put aside this political correctness. It's time to say, yes, we hear you, we see you, Black Lives Matter. That's all I want to hear. I don't want to hear any politically correct rhetoric. And I think it's time for people to understand, and I call myself onto my carpet as well. I have been part of this res respectability politics BS for way too long. It's time for me to make people feel uncomfortable instead of trying to always be to assimilate. Because I'm the darkest thing in the room and I, oh God, I don't want them to be um, any judgments or bias. You know what? Screw it. You can think about me as any way you want me to, but we're going to have this uncomfortable conversation regardless if you want to or not. So I want that same hashtag of put up or shut up to all corporate of America. Okay, put a mirror to yourself and look at your reflection. Do you truly reflect your values for all of your workforce, for all of the people that you serve, for all of your customers, for in your marketing team and your HR team? Do you? And I used to work for the largest vision company in the US and they're also a global company. And, oh, <laughs> I experienced it myself being marginalized or gaslighted because I just didn't matter. I, I didn't matter. So I've been very aggressively on my social media just telling my story, telling my narrative. It's like, hey, see me now, see us now, acknowledge us. And they haven't yet. It's been like about a week and a half, almost two weeks, and they haven't yet. But that's not going to stop me. I'm going to keep pushing. So I'm going to link all my videos down below of going through the process of, you know, being gaslighted from this company and then laid off. I'm going to give you all those, those um, videos down below so you can watch it from the very beginning for context. But I am tired. 
I'm not scared anymore. I have nothing to give to lose. People are listening. You need to take accountability and you need to understand the value of people that you work with and the diversification of the people that you work with and the opportunity of different people from different backgrounds and cultures that you should open up your doors to, period. It doesn't matter if they're disabled, um, their color, creed, race, or religion. Doesn't freaking matter. It should be the same playing field. And if you're freaking sitting at a table of a whole bunch of white men, then yes, you cannot say we don't have that issue here because you do. And just saying that is the issue itself right there. So I'm done with respectability politics. I'll end my video with a story. So basically, since I, I went to college in Connecticut College in New London, Connecticut, and I transferred back to Ohio because it was a private liberal arts school and I just couldn't afford it anymore. So I transferred back to OSU here in good old Ohio. And during that time frame, I got my first corporate job and I've always went by Ramasa, okay? That's my legal name. So when I went to the corporate ward, I already felt othered. My name already put me a, a label on it. I couldn't quite put my finger on it, but I felt that that otherness or like that ickiness of my name. Okay, it's like my, my name is holding me down. And without even realizing it, I went into the vein of respectability politics. How can I be more pliable to corporate America? How can I be more, um, less threatening to corporate America. So I changed my name to Renee, you know? I'll go by Renee. And ever since then, my whole entire freaking career, I've always gone by Renee. Because I wanted to be more pliable. I wanted to be more acceptable. I wanted to assimilate. And maybe I'll do a video about, you know, me being younger and how I had to struggle with my dark skin, maybe later, but that I'm not gonna lump that in this video. But I'm done. I'm dark, I'm black, I'm proud, I'm smart. I get angry, I get happy, I get sad. Um, it doesn't matter, I'm a human. I'm allowed to feel those emotions without it being a negative connotation or, or characteristic of my race, period. All right, guys. So again, please, 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 down below, share any other influencers that have been helping our cause and pushing our cause. Um, please, at the um, if you have any other comments about your experience and your stories about being marginalized in the workplace, please share. We need to share our narrative. We need to share our story. People need to hear it. And also, if you have any other um, organizations that is not part of the little the image I'll put on my video. Uh, please put those organizations down below with their information. I mean, it's more important than just to have a black box on an Instagram. It's more important than just to put um, a video about your opinions. It's about education. That's what pushes the movement forward. Um, the protests, the demonstrations, they get us notice, but education and, and communication push it forward. So please share as much information down below. Share this video if you choose. Um, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you guys. Like I say, love the skin you're in. Embrace your uniqueness and be the good.